Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The day is December the 19th. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. Every day we take kids from all around the world through these amazing stories in the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. Today our reading is in the book of James, chapter 2, verses 1 through 17. And then we go on to Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 21. Well, some Christians were giving special treatment to rich people. What do you think James had to say about that? Well, let's read and find out from James chapter 2. My dear brothers and sisters, how can you claim to have faith in your glorious Lord Jesus Christ if you favor some people over others? For example, suppose someone comes into your meeting dressed in fancy clothes and expensive jewelry, and another comes in who is poor and dressed in dirty clothes. If you give special attention and a good seat to the rich person, but you say to the poor one, you can stand over there or sit on the floor. Well, doesn't this discrimination show that your judgments are guided by evil motives? Listen to me, dear brothers and sisters. Hasn't God chosen the poor in this world to be rich in faith? Aren't they the ones who will inherit the kingdom he promised to those who love him? But you dishonor the poor. Isn't it the rich who oppress you and drag you into court? Aren't they the ones who slander Jesus Christ, whose name you bear? Yes, indeed. It is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. For the person who keeps all the laws, except one, is as guilty as the person who has broken all God's laws. For the same God who said, You must not commit adultery, also said, You must not commit murder. So if you murder someone, but you do not commit adultery, you have still broken the law. So whatever you say, or whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. There will be no mercy for those who have shown no mercy to others. But if you have been merciful, God will be merciful when He judges you. What good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions? Can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or a sister who has no food or clothing, and you say, Goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Wow. Christians should live differently from the way the rest of the world lives. Instead of showing favoritism to some people, Christians should show love to all people. James said that loving others, no matter if they are rich or poor, and showing it by our actions indicates that our faith is strong. If we have real faith, we will put it into practice. What do your actions show about your love for others and about your faith? This is what Proverbs says in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 21. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbor. Blessed are those who help the poor. There you have it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible. I plan on being back here again tomorrow to do the same thing. Lord willing, in the creek don't rise. I plan on being here. Until that time, you guys go forward, will you? Go forward in God's joy. Let his joy be your strength. And you remember this that you, my friend, are loved. No doubt about it. All right, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye.